Hey everyone, it's Mike from Orderflows and welcome to this uh, latest video on go charting uh, with Orderflows Trader on there. So, you know, yesterday I made that uh, video for you explaining uh, that we have now the Orderflows Trader on the go charting platform, which is a web based platform. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people in the past have wanted to use the Orderflows Trader on a Mac and Ninja Trader doesn't run on a Mac, it runs on a PC, but since the go charting platform is web-based you know you could use it on a Mac I use it on you know a desktop I also use it on my Samsung uh, fold phone so you know you could you doesn't matter what as long as you are uh, you know able to basically get to the internet you can use the go charting uh, platform so again you know right now I have a special deal with the guys at go charting so for the month of September you know you can su subscribe to the data at a reduced rate of only ten dollars a month as opposed to the normal rate of 35 that gets you real-time uh, data for the CME it's just the the CME the main products like uh, e-minis uh, MES NQ MNQ the currencies um, you know some of the lesser contracts like you know even though CME does trade uh, hogs and cattle it, it's not available um, as far as the footprint chart goes on go charting so again go to uh, the link below is in the description if you go to the normal go charting website um, you can but you're going to be charged the uh, full rate for the data which is 35 otherwise you know you're going to be able to get it for the the reduced price of ten dollars for the month and the order flows trader uh, until september 1st i believe is uh, free so if you want to try it out uh, get used to it you know by all means you know you want to take advantage of this uh, special offer so you know, once you're on the main go charting page, you're going to go to go chart, uh, go to the charts under products, um, or you could click up here to charts. You know, it doesn't really matter, and it's going to take you to the chart. Right? You can see how fast it loads. So this is the uh, the nifty, the default um, I have set up is, is nifty. But if you want to see the uh, ES, right, the MES or NQ, you just type it in up here, right? This area up in here, you just type in the symbol, right? We know for E minis, it's ES. You, and then you can see down here you get the menu um, just expand it up find the, the the current month and here is your chart okay now again if you're familiar with say ninja trader or share charts coming to a new trading platform is different right I mean, we get so used to using a certain trading platform that we expect that when we go to another platform everything is the same but unfortunately it's not like that now the guys um, at go charting they are you know they're they're a great team of guys and you know what they built is a very robust package it just does there is a unfortunately there is a learning curve I mean with with any new software whether it's trading software or whatever there is going to be a learning curve all right so what you want to do first is you're going to want to add the footprint right the basic footprint which comes with go charting so you don't have to pay extra you know like if you get the the you want the cluster chart or whatever they call it on ninja trader volume metric um you'd have to you know you gotta pay an extra you gotta buy a lifetime license basically which is you know i don't know what it goes for now about eleven twelve hundred dollars but on go charting it's included in your subscription so they call it the cluster so you're going to hit uh you're going to go here where it says uh charts and down at the bottom is cluster okay and you're going to see it here you're going to say oh it's still bar charts well what you have to do is you have to expand it okay and there you go you can start to see the footprint okay now people ask well how do i get your indicators on here well the next step is you have to go to study okay you're going to click on study go order flow and expand the menu out you can see market profile volume profile vwap etc then find order flow trader click on that okay now you're going to start to see some things on your chart so the the next step that you want to do is you're going to go over to on the right hand side at the top there's like these three there's a triangle uh, square and then like three or four layers because it's the layers basically what what is sitting on your chart so you can see here this pops up this menu okay so you can see i got the cluster right and you click on the word cluster it's going to open this up and you're going to have all these functions in here that you can use okay say you want to have um, the value areas right on your chart or you know the, the previous point of control marker right you'd click it like this you know all these things the on off basically to 
to show it, okay? Now, you see, you know, people will say, well, <coughs> Mike, the value areas, I can't see the value areas, I, I've got it clicked. That's because you gotta change the color, okay? So, um, you know, you're gonna change the color to what, I don't know, gray. Then you could adjust the opacity, so you have the colors on top, then you have just this line right below, which is sort of the opacity. So you could color it whatever you like, you know, however dark or not. I like to be able to read, <coughs> excuse me, you know, sort of read the, um, you know, read what I'm looking at here, all right? Now, you know, maybe one other thing you want to do is change the text. So you can see up here, you know, the clusters, you can see the text. Uh, maybe you want to change the color. I think it's, in this chart, it's this kind of brownish color. I want to have a black. So we got to change both sides, right? There's a left side and a right side of the footprint. Okay. Now, when it comes, then you know you have this box. You want this box to go away. Just click on the screen. Now, for the order flows trader, right? Now you can see it down here. It's a whole other set in here. Okay. So, you know things like exhaustion print. Okay. You could set the setting to whatever threshold you like, right? If I'm setting it to say, you know, default is nine, you know, if you want to set it to say five, you could just adjust it right there. <laughs> um, you know, other things like, for example, thin prints, right? I like to use thin prints when I'm trading. Make sure it's enabled, you can set whatever threshold you want here. And again, there's all these things in here. There's exhaustion print and balance reversal ratios. Slingshot point of control, market weakness, sequencing, uh, market sweeps, prominent point of controls, zero prints, inverse imbalance, multiple imbalances, um, tails, and the thin prints. Okay, so again, there's a lot of tools from the order flows trader in here. There's also some tools in um, the regular cluster chart. And it's not about adding every single tool to your chart all at once, thinking, hey, you know what, I got all these tools. I'm going to use them and I'm going to be a super trader. No, it's about adding what is useful uh, for the market that you're trading that's going to help you trade. Okay, so let's just uh, I'll talk about ratios here for a second. Okay, so, you know, if you turn ratios on, right, just make sure that the uh, button here for ratios, right, is blue, right? That means it's on. Now, there is a difference um, with the Go charting one, go charting version of Orderflow's Trader and the version um, that's available for Ninja Trader. You're going to see we've hard coded in the settings that I use, which is uh, 27 and 0.69, and it's only going to appear on the bars that have a ratio. It's going to appear underneath, so you can see the 101. So all these bars that have nothing above or below, it's just a normal order flow, okay? And there are certain ways to use ratios, you know, here you can see 46. Um, that is useful, right? I mean, you know, when I first released the Orderflows Trader back in uh, 2015, you know, this was one piece of the analysis that was quickly copied by other software vendors. You know, it's funny because I remember some people were co coming up with these names like the order flow algo or some other nonsense like that. Basically, it's just reading what's happening in the order flow at the bottom of bars of green up candles or the top of uh, red down candles, okay? And, you know, I explain more details in, in other videos how to use them. Um, but really, you're just looking for a ratio that matters, right? So if you see the number below, that's a bullish ratio. If you see a number above, uh, like a, a red number above the bar, that's a bearish ratio. All right, so, um, you know, one other, a couple other things that, you know, I want to talk about on getting your chart set up. Now, there's, there's different ways to display things like delta, okay? So if you go to your layers, right, go to your cluster, right? You just, just close this down. So here, cluster, right? You expand that up. Say, you know, you want to have delta, okay? So you would enable this where it says delta, cumulative delta, and well, for now, I'll just leave it at that, okay? Um, you know, some people like to see the volume also, okay? But I, I don't think you really need to concentrate so much on the volume, um, having it on the bar. Now, I know some traders like to have the delta, you know, cumulative delta, delta numbers, you know, right on the bar, right? Because they say, well, I don't take my eyes off. 
I like to have it on the bottom, you know, of the chart. I'm just so used to it. You know, some people really get offended by having it on the bottom. You know, it's like, oh, it's trading in the basement. No, you know, I just like to keep my bar areas clean. So if you want it on the bottom, like uh, especially if you're coming over from Ninja Trader and some of the other softwares where it appears on the bottom, um, what you have to do is go to. Let's see if I can find it now. Um, it's under uh, order flow. Go to order flow. Go to bar statistics. Okay, click on it, and you can see it's going to come up right here. Um, all you have to do is just there's this little divider here. Just drag it. Just put your cursor right. Right on the top, you can see an up and down arrow and a line in the middle, and just pull it down to the bottom. Okay, simple. So you got volume, delta, max, uh, delta, min delta, cumulative delta, and um, delta change. Okay, I don't need. You know, for me, you know, I know some people like to put the the day's volume on there. Um, you know, honestly, you don't really need that, in my opinion. It, you know, the volume for the day you know if i'm coming up to two o'clock you know and, and it's traded one million eight hundred sixty seven thousand four hundred contract you know, that means nothing to me i'm more interested in what's happening the volume for the bar is it normal you know or not All right, i see some light volumes in here um you know about you know 1k one and a half k you know to two and a half k then i see you know something pick up here 3.6k okay maybe that that's a bit more interesting to me than to know that we went from you know one million eight hundred thousand six hundred you know eighty et cetera to added just three thousand contracts i mean that that's nothing um so if you don't want to have the delta and the cumulative delta on top of the bar um you could drop it down here on the bottom i just find it a bit more easier to read rather than having so much you know on my chart so what i'm going to do i'll go back here and turn this delta marker, cumulative marker off. Now, with go charting, just really quick, they have something called delta divergence, okay? And I just want to put this on here really quick just to, to sort of highlight this to you. Now, this is different than my order flow's delta um, divergence. You know, my order flow delta divergence occurs when you have a new or equal high with uh, negative delta or new or equal low with positive delta. What this delta divergence is for is it will highlight the bars that the bar price action and the delta differ okay so for example right you have you and i'll draw these lines here through the bar and and what it means is okay so like for example this bar right here is a green candle with negative delta okay it's another green candle with negative delta minus 155 a red candle with positive delta plus 10 a red candle with positive delta now when you're using a delta divergence in this sense, this is more of a bar and delta divergence, right? Because price is going one way, delta is telling you something else. Um, these are useful reversal points, right? So if you're going to use it, don't just use, you know, you don't say, oh, I got a green bar with uh, negative delta, I got to get long, right? Really how you want to trade it is you're going to look at it for potential um, reversal points, okay? Like, you know, here we had this move up, get this red candle with a decent negative delta 390 i'm sorry positive delta of 391 okay well why why is this bar a red candle with positive delta what does that mean well it's telling you that there was some supply in the market because what do you have why do you have positive delta on this red candle is because early in the red candle there was a lot of aggressive buying but there was a strong passive seller you can see the 1.1k up here on the offer someone offering supply to the market right just as if i was um you know somewhere let me find the the opposite case scenario where we had just sort of come down into the low and then we start you know like here right we're coming down into the swing low here and you got negative delta on this green candle why is the delta negative right but price action is positive so what's that telling you well there was probably some um, strong passive bidders in there to absorb whatever aggressive selling was taking place as this market was going down, right? Then you see price action starting to reverse, um, and we get this nice little rally. So, um, you know, there's, there's a way to use it. I, I talk about it in some of the other videos. 
But, you know, I just want to get you guys set up in case, you know, you're wondering how, hey, Mike, how do I add, how do I add the order flows trader, right, to your chart? So, again, just really quick, let's just sort of take you through it one last time. Uh, I'll just put this back on a normal candlestick, right? If you come in, you got a normal candlestick and you're trying to add the order flows trader directly, right, and you're clicking on it, right? oh, there's nothing here, I'm clicking on it again. Actually, if you were to go to layers, you'd see it's already added twice. You don't need it twice. But what you have to do first is put the cluster chart on. Okay, so I'll just take this off. So you can see where it says candlestick. So layers is the important thing you got to look for. Upper right-hand corner, layers. So go to chart, go to uh, cluster down here at the bottom, Alt F, right? And then just add on the order flows trader. Okay, that's it. That's all you got to do. It's real simple. You don't need templates per se. All you got is a simple click, click, right? Add the cluster chart, add the order flows trader. And then you can go in from the layers. You can go into the settings. You can also, I believe, right, if you click on the actual footprint, right, right click, click on settings, okay? It's going to give you the settings, not for the, uh, maybe it's on the bottom, not for, no, just, this is just for the footprint, okay? It's not, but if you want the settings for the order flows trader, okay, you got to go to the layers, all right, in here. So you got to expand it, right? Click on it to expand it and add whatever, you know, you want to look for um, on your chart. Okay. All right, everyone. So thanks uh, for taking the time to watch this video. Again, you know, the link for the discounted price on the data is in the description. So if you, if you don't use that link, you're going to be charged the regular price. And again, it's just for the first month. It will renew at the regular price. And again, if you want to use a footprint chart, go charting is a great way to get started. If you want to use my overflows trader, um, you know, for the rest of this month, it's available for you at, uh, at, no extra, at no extra charge. So thanks, everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.